What's good, everyone? Welcome back to another EMC. Today we're in the M5. I have not given you guys a proper M5 update, and I will let you know how I feel about this car. It has become my daily driver, and it's so comfortable that I don't even drive anything else. <laughs> so this is what I like about the M cars. There's an M1 button and an M2 button. So the M1 button, what I have on the setting is sport, sport, sport. And then for the tranny, I have it in two. And then I have the ESC on and it is in four wheel drive. And the cool thing about this car is that it can go into real wheel drive mode because this does have the X drive. So most of the times it's four wheel drive, but when I put it in M2 and then if I press confirm, voila, DSC off. It's two wheel drive, which is rear wheel drive. Everything is in Sport Plus, and uh, see? Woo! You hear that fart? Yeah. Around the corners, it's kind of a pudgy car. It's certainly no sports car. It's not like an M3 or an M2 or an M4, but it gets the job done. It makes you feel like you're the ultimate driver. All right. And that's what I love about this car. And I got the baby seat in the back doesn't have a sunroof I think that's the only flaw but it's not a flaw because it's still a competitive advantage because of the carbon fiber roof and it does have Alcantara so that's a nice touch to it this car has plenty of space which is what I've wanted and we take the baby out quite often in this car Katia really enjoys this car I think Dizzy's more of an AMG gal I don't blame her AMG cars are class but the M5 gets a little more brute. The only other complaint I have right now is the stock brakes. Why? There's too much brake dust. I have to wash this car like all the time. It gets kind of annoying. I guess that's why I love this color wrap is that sometimes when I get lazy and the car's a little dirty, you can't tell that the car is dirty but you can tell that the wheels are dirty. The stock steel rotors, they stop on a dime. They're great. I guess my only complaint is that there's too much brake dust. And if I have ceramics, that would solve that problem. And ceramic brakes, I mean, it just looks cooler. It lasts longer and it's more lightweight. So we are going to Hub Auto. I got some OEM M5 ceramic brakes. So if you make this rotating mass less weight, which essentially means that you're releasing more power, you'll feel like the car is lighter, more spirited when you're driving. So the front ceramic rotor is 7.3 kg. The rear ceramic rotor is 5.2. This is the stock steel rotors in the rear. Okay, 9.7, 15.1. 15 point, uh, holy 15.15 kg for the stock steel rotors. Right off the bat, we saved about 24.5, 24.6 kg. We just went on a big diet. Not a lot of people care about the little details, but you know what? Us at EMC, we care about these little details. I got the new LCI rear tail lights. These have the black surrounds and it's got an indentation for here. It just makes the lights look more modern and I guess a little more aggressive. So as you can see, it's going to be looking really, really nice. I'm very excited. We'll be back. Yo, I'm back. Hub Auto did an amazing job as usual. And I turn on the rear tail lights. Just want you guys to get a glimpse of this. This is so dope. Love how the black accents around here just cover it up. It's like a nice border. And it matches so well with the matte wrap. Just looks so much better now. Yeah! We saved a lot of weight. Obviously, I wish that. BMW made bigger calipers in the rear. Their OEM design is just, you know, a simple two-piston clamp. Obviously, I wish that it was bigger, but you know what? 
whatever. Let's take a look at the front because the gold calipers are so bling. Bam! Oh shit. Okay, this looks so badass. You know, the first couple hundred km, uh, we're gonna have to ease our way into it. Gotta be very, very gentle with the brakes. Let it wear in. I'm gonna go test it out and uh, I'll see you guys. All right, so I am back at CPA. This is kind of like a second home for me. This is the testing facility, the dyno jet that we use all the time at CPA in Shizu. We have the FI exhaust on right now, but I got something very special. I have the Super Sprint full exhaust with us. They give me the downpipes, the center section, as well as the rear section. It does link up to the valve exhaust button inside the car. That is a big plus. This is the Super Sprint downpipe. It is mated with an HJS Motorsport Cat right here. HJS, it's got the serial number. This is a 100 cell cat. I still wanted to keep the cat because I don't like the smell when it's decatted. A lot of guys are just like, oh, let's go like straight pipes, decat. Yes, it sounds great. I prefer a cat because it's more environmental. Although I like playing and tuning with cars, uh, for me, choosing a catalytic converter is very, very important for the air, for the atmosphere, for all of us. I can't install this yet because I am not going to install the ECU. I wanna do things step by step so we can show you guys the progression of each mod that we install. So hopefully, everything will add some more power. We will see the difference between the FI exhaust and the Super Sprint today. The dyno will show it all. So, let's get going, guys. So the boys at CPA just installed the Super Sprint exhaust. Again, we only did the midsection and the rear section. The valve control is going to work with the car. Without further ado, let's start the car and let's see. Okay, I'm gonna rev it. Okay, it's warmed up. It's in efficient mode right now. Okay, I mean, it's not... It's not that loud. Let's put it on the uh, Sport Plus mode. And I'm gonna press that. Ooh. Okay, okay. Oh, <laughs> I did not expect that. I'm gonna try it again. Wow, holy shit. That was like a fucking machine gun, like ba 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 ba. Well, I'm gonna try that one more time. <laughs> Woo! Okay. okay, it's loud. I think it might be louder than the FI. Let's see if it softens up. Oh, okay. Come here, take a look. Bill Sport Plus, and I'm gonna rev it over 4,000. Okay, no sound very good two thumbs up I hope you guys enjoyed that let's get this car on the dyno that was ridiculous Compared to the first dyno that I heard, this was substantially louder than the first dyno. Before we get into the graph, I do wanna say that this exhaust is about three kg lighter than the FI exhaust, which is good, but it's not great. The stock exhaust is actually super well made. 
that was only about 30 kg. And the super sprint is 38. But I think overall, we will save weight when we change the downpipes. Now let's take a look at the graph. The red line is what we had before of the FI Pai Chi Guan. So this is the FI graph, the red line right here, and the blue is the super sprint. We gained about three and a half more horsepower at the wheels at roughly the same RPM. So we gained about roughly 4.2 kg of torque. The only thing that you guys will see, there's some discrepancy here where the line's kind of just not that stable. The ECU is really, really smart. It regulates everything and it auto corrects and it kind of puts the car into a safe mode. The discrepancies here just mean that I really do need an ECU tune. I hope you guys enjoyed the dyno session as much as I did. Uh, it's always a great experience. All the viewers out there, if you're into power mods and you enjoy this whole process, make sure you're getting your money's worth. Go get a dyno. And for the local guys, please come to CPA. They're awesome, they know what they're doing. I will probably be working with them on the tune that's upcoming. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. You know, I'm gonna go drive the car for a little bit, let everything settle in, let the brakes break in, literally. And I love the tail lights of this car. This project is coming together very, very nicely. We have a couple more mods coming. So guys, continue supporting EMC, continue supporting this project. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.